Are you being prescribed prednisone for a cough? If so, maybe it's not the best thing for you. Maybe there are natural alternatives to prednisone for cough. I am Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist, and I've helped tens of thousands of people deal with side effects from the prednisone. And one of the easiest ways to deal with the side effects is to not take it in the first place. So there are situations when maybe it's not the best situation and cough might be one of those. It's really between you and your doctor, but there are a few situations where older doctors or doctors trained in an older way might be prescribing it when it's really not the best thing for you. So cough has a lot of causes to it and it really depends on the type of cough you have. Uh, so if, if it's a cough from asthma or a cough from COPD or a cough from allergies, we're not talking about those right now. What we're talking about is if you had an infection, like you had bronchitis or you had pneumonia, or you just had like the flu or some other virus, maybe you even had like a sinus infection. Some infection is causing you to have a cough. I had COVID a couple of weeks ago, so I kind of still have a dry cough. Should I take prednisone for this dry cough? It just takes a long time. It's just not going away. And the answer is probably not. There's actually not really great any evidence, any really great evidence that prednisone helps with persistent post-infectious cough is what it's called, PPIC. It doesn't help. And so what can you do instead? So they actually did a study that I'm going to share you the results. Um, they found, they compared prednisone with other natural treatments to see which one worked better for cough. And so they invited a whole bunch of people to take prednisone alone, other to people to do a little mixture of honey plus coffee, and another person to do just honey. And so they compared the three of them and they discovered the people who were using honey plus coffee and a little mixture had the best results. That that was the most effective treatment for post-infectious cough. <laughs> Can't say that word without coughing. <laughs> um, and so potentially honey plus coffee was is actually a better alternative than taking prednisone itself. I was very surprised when I read that because you would think that this fancy pre prescription medication would be more effective than mother nature's honey and coffee, but it's not true. So if you're having a post-infectious cough, potentially a honey and coffee little mixture, I think it was about a tablespoon of each, and potentially work better. I will link to the actual study below in the video so you can check it out yourself. And um, if you are prescribed prednisone and you're like, should I take it? You really need to ask, is it worth the side effects? Because if you're taking prednisone for a condition that is life-threatening, that there's no alternatives, then yeah, you should take it because the side effects can't possibly be worse than death, right? But if you're taking it for something like a post-infectious cough that isn't going to kill you, it's just kind of annoying, then the benefits don't outweigh the risks because the risks of prednisone include 150 side effects, include the risk of having to stay on it forever. It's called adrenal insufficiency, and you can never go off the prednisone. It, the risk of anxiety that is so debilitating, you can't even go to work, handle watching TV, being around your family. People contact me every day saying, if I had known, I would have never taken prednisone. So my advice is be sure that what you're taking prednisone for is worth it. And if you're wondering, I have a checklist called the prednisone checklist. And it goes through the top 15 side effects that people have and what you can do to counteract them. Plus the top seven mistakes people make so that you can avoid making those. So if 
you need that, um, click the link below and you can get your own prednisone checklist so you know exactly how to counteract as many side effects as possible. Signing off is Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.